Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Nissan GTR Pure, as well as learn about the other 2019 Nissan GTR configurations along the way. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Want to drive like a hero but don't have the skills? Then you need a 2019 Nissan GTR. This high-tech sport coupe is overflowing with technology that makes it one of the easiest ultra-high performance vehicles to drive. Acceleration, braking, and handling are simply stunning, though the abundance of applied science in the GTR can leave the driver feeling a bit redundant. Nissan introduced the GTR in 2009, making it one of the oldest cars in this quickly changing segment. But the car maker has been conscientious about making small updates just about every year. For 2018, which was last year, for instance, the GTR gets got a new trim level called the Pure and Apple CarPlay smartphone integration. The 2019 Nissan GTR is ridiculously fast. Its twin turbocharged 3.8 liter V6 develops 565 horsepower and 467 pound feet of torque in normal trim with a six speed dual clutch automatic delivering all that power to all four wheels. In testing, the GTR blasted to 60 miles an hour in a blistering 3.2 seconds, making it one of the fastest cars ever track tested. Now braking is equally impressive. 60 miles an hour to zero in just 102 feet. The EPA estimates the GTR's fuel economy at 18 miles to the gallon combined, which is 16 city and 22 highway. That's Admiral showing for such a very powerful car. The 2019 Nissan GTR is a high performance sports coupe. Pure, the new trim level introduced last year, is the least expensive way to get a GTR, but it still has all the essential features. Premium trim cars add luxury options, while the track addition adds even more track focus. Finally, the GTR Nismo ups all performance qualities to the max, including an engine tuned for more horsepower. The new Pure trim, which starts with an MSRP of $99,990, includes 20-inch wheels with summer run-flat tires, LED headlights, and running lights, power folding and heated mirrors, front and rear parking sensors, an adaptive suspension, configurable drive modes, and keyless entry and ignition. Inside, you get leather upholstery with faux suede inserts, dual-zone automatic climate control, a heated eight-way power driver's seat, four-way for the front passenger, a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, a rear-view camera, an eight-inch touchscreen, a navigation system, voice control, Nissan Connect mobile app integration, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, a six-speaker Bose audio system with active noise cancellation and enhancement, USB connectivity, and satellite and HD radio. Going with the premium, which has an MSRP of $110,540, adds an active sound enhancement and noise cancellation system, titanium exhaust, and an 11-speaker sound system. Options for the pure and premium are limited to the cold weather package with all-season tires and a unique coolant mixture. Premium models can be equipped with a premium interior package, which adds hand-stitched premium leather upholstery, special floor mats, and a few premium paint and interior color schemes. The Nissan GTR Track Edition, which has an MSRP of $128,540, is similar to the premium, but receives the Nismo suspension, chassis, suspension, chassis, and interior upgrades. Finally, the limited production Nissan GTR Nismo with a starting price of $175,540 comes with a stiffer body structure, a front fascia with more cooling area and downforce, side skirts and rear wing, Recaro seats, lightweight forged alloy wheels, a more aggressive suspension calibration, and an upgraded version of the V6 engine good for 600 horsepower and 481 pound-feet of torque. It's rare that I would ever say this, but for my money, it's the new Pure model. That's the introductory model. You get the same mechanical, I'm sorry, the base model. You get the same mechanical and performance content as the premium without the fluff of electronic sound control and the heavy audio system. 
though you do lose the titanium exhaust, but I bet you that standard exhaust or, uh, audio system sounds just fine. And besides that, the cost savings can help pay for track days and tires because, well, if you get this car, you might want to do some track days and you're going to go through some tires. Okay, let's jump into this build and price of the 2019 Nissan GTR, also known as Godzilla. You could say Godzilla, right? Um, so... <laughs> I like this car. I think it's hot. Every now and again, I see these things running around on the road, and they are really fine. They are fine. Let's look at some exterior colors. This one's called Solid Red. Then they have, well, these are all basic colors. Here's Jet Black Pearl. Then we've got a Super Silver Quad Coat. That's interesting. I like that name, and I like the paint, too. Then we have that Gun Metal. I see a lot of them in that color. Then we have a pearl white tricoat. I'm always a sucker for those, the tri uh, tricoat pearl whites, often anyway. And then finally, there's that deep blue pearl, which looks pretty good. Not really a blue car person, but it doesn't look bad. All right, so there's an interior tab here. Let's check interior and see if we could actually see some colors for the interior as well. Well, what that really did was jump us down to some photos, uh, to the gallery, so, hey, let's jump into it. I think this is a very nice place to be. I think the GTR looks hot. I'd like to own this car. I really would. Uh, here's that, in, uh, this interior in all black. Do they give us any snippets of information? Yeah, it says right down here, Nissan GTR Premium shown in black leather with, synth uh, with synthetic suede inserts. Here's the back seat of a premium trim model uh, with the Rokuda tan leather. Right, and then there's the other shot there. Okay, yeah, those were just three photos. Let's move on. Okay, they've got some more interior photos for us. It says a tactile and visual feast. Available leather and semi-aniline leather interior appointments, along with double stitching on seats, are a tactile and visual feast. Here they're telling us that the dashboard on the GTR comes from a single Napa leather hide, hand-selected for tone, and free of even the smallest imperfections. That's attention to detail and quality right there. And it should be for the price point. Listen to this. The GTR's air vent was studied, designed, and developed by a quality expert to have a feeling of precision every time you use it. That's serious. The aluminum bezel surrounding the ventilation controls feature a subtle etching on the outside to enhance their feel. The remote switch gear on Nissan GTR's steering wheel includes a stopwatch lap timer control, which is perfect for the track, should you ever actually take yours to the track. Now this looks nice. The combi meter uses meshing gears as, a, as its motif. The tachometer is placed in the center with the large scale shift indicator on the upper right, supporting the driver with immediate readability when driving on the circuit. <laughs> let's not skip over the exterior details huh so here it says that the D gtr has a large grill openings that's going to help with the uh, airflow because that's very very important when you're making a lot of horsepower and you're trying to create downforce the front fascia shape helps direct air around the front wheel wheel wells reducing drag the side skirts on the gtr help prevent airflow from being drawn underneath the vehicle allowing for more consistent downforce and grip. The area around the C-pillar reduces turbulence to help accelerate airflow toward the rear of the body. Here they're talking about the true iconic status of these taillights. They are synonymous with Nissan GTR, if only for the fact that people are used to seeing them as you leave them out in the dust. That's probably a true story. Here Nissan's talking about the forged aluminum 20-inch wheels and how they feature a machine finish, which provides a high-quality, high-performance look. The rear fascia of the GTR is extended at the sides to accelerate air away from the back of the bumper, helping to pull hot gases away, hot gases away, and cooling the exhaust. I totally messed that up, but you got what I was trying to say. Then, of course, at this price point, the GTR comes with uh, these high-intensity multi-LED headlights that create a distinctive lightning motif generating a striking exterior visual signature 
So here's those interiors we were worried about, or I was talking about, what, a few minutes ago, three, four, five, however, minutes, however many minutes ago. We were wondering what interior colors were there available for the 2019 Nissan GTR. Well, here's one of them. Here's the Rakuta Tan Semi-Aniline Leather. It's part of the Premium Interior Package. See, we can actually see all of the um, colors here. That was the Rakuta Tan here with the Semi-Aniline. This one here is what? This is the... The red amber semi-aniline leather, which is also part of that premium interior package. This one's known as Curo Knight semi-aniline leather with synthetic suede inserts. That's part of the premium package. And then here's a black leather with suede with synthetic suede inserts here. Here's a track edition. This is the black with red leather. That looks really racy. This is the track edition look. Then finally, here are the Nismo seats. Black leather with red synthetic suede inserts. And that's the thing. I'd rather just have straight leather. You know, I know that those are more racy and they cost more money. But if I'm spending more money, more money, I just want more leather. Give me more leather, right? Not Don't give me suede or any. I don't know how any, how any of that stuff wears. And I get it that it's all for the track. But I'd rather just have straight leather or at least the option to make it straight leather. All right. Well, let's talk about features of the 2019 Nissan GTR because, well, it can't all be about the performance and the looks. We need to find out about the technology and the safety and all of that. So let's quickly go through this information and then we'll move on to the performance. Uh, we'll learn a little bit more specifically about the Nismo because this building price, while we are going to build in price of pure, we are finding out about all the GTR configurations for 2019. So if you are actually in the market for one, you can make an informed buying decision based on this video. So let's start with information. We can see right up here at this top ribbon, there are several features they want us to go through. Information, technology, then they want to tell us about the Nissan Connect services, which are powered by Sirius XM. They want us to tell us about the sound enhancement, and then finally their safety. So we're going to jump in with starting with information. Here they're going to tell us about the programmable multifunction display and how its easy access screens have five programmable uh, and one factory preset. And this is how you can get immediate feedback for key performance parameters. And they have some key information under each one of these. And yeah, let's learn about that. So this first one over here on the left says spool up. Set up a custom view to keep an eye on the engine viewing turbo boost, oil temperature, and pressure. And then over here on the right, it says feel the force, monitor acceleration, G's, turbo boost, and throttle position. Okay, these two screens here uh, go the distance. It says keep track of current and historical fuel economy as well as range. And over here on the right, it says keep cool, ideal for heavy-duty driving, monitor coolant, oil, and transmission fluid temperatures. Okay, they've got a couple more screens here. On the left, it says pull some GS. It says keep track of chassis dynamics, including cornering and overall G's and brake pedal usage. Wow, they're getting real serious with this. It's totally a video game, isn't it? You got total telemetrics, completely telemetrics. Over here it says punch the clock. The factory preset stopwatch is activated by steering wheel controls, so you keep your hands on the wheel. Very cool. All right, we got through the information part. Let's talk about the technology part. Here's the Nissan navigation system. It says Navigate any city like a local with an 8-inch color multi-touchscreen with 3D map view for, le for select cities, voice recognition, and easy-to-read graphics. So I guess you can only be a local uh, and use the 3D map in select cities, right? Got it. Here's some more tech for us. Uh, there's the hands-free convenience Nissan Intelligent key, and then there's hands-free Bluetooth calling through this vehicle, as well as two USB ports for music and charging. Apple CarPlay. I always like to see Apple CarPlay in a car. I have had the opportunity to use it, and it does work really well. So I always like to see it. So Apple CarPlay, it comes equipped with it. It's in the car. That's going to allow you to check out your maps, uh, all your music. You can work the Apple CarPlay through the steering wheel controls, adjust the volume, toggle through screens, and you can simply plug in your compatible iPhone. So it is not Bluetooth. doesn't connect to Apple CarPlay through Bluetooth. It connects through your data cable. Because they just said simply plug in. There's your key indicator right there. Plug in. 
Over here on the left, there's also the rear view monitor, which helps you see what's directly behind you. Sonar sensors on all four corners. Look out for static objects. When you're getting close to a detected object, it will let you know with an audible warning. And then over here, there is this, what? This is a command. What is this? In addition to its touch functionality, you can control the 8-inch touchscreen using the display commander. Positioned just behind the gear shift, it lets you toggle up and down, side to side, rotate, scroll through, and control your infotainment system, all without the need to look down or touch the display screen, getting fingerprints all over it and all that. So everybody else, every seems like Nissan now has gone the way of, oh, BMW with their iDrive or Mercedes with their command. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I like that whole system, so there's nothing wrong with that. And if this works good, I'm down. Here they're going to tell us about their Nissan Connect services. With an available Nissan Connect service, you have a selection of plans and services like customizable alerts and emergency response. So let's go through these services real fast, see what this stuff is about. You've got Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So with Amazon Alexa, you can lock and unlock your doors, flash your lights, uh, start your engine, all that there. And basically, you could do the same thing with the Google Assistant. Right, you can basically do the same thing with the Google Assistant. They're just giving you other ways in 2019 and beyond to interact with your car because this is the kind of stuff that people need and want to do. Right, do stuff like this. Use Alexa and Google Assist. I don't think I wouldn't use it, but obviously some people will. And well, it's integrated into the car as we can see. Looks like here they're showing a picture of the Nissan Connect app, and they're telling us that again we can lock and unlock our doors and remote horn and lights and the Park Car Finder, which is pretty cool. Find your Park Nissan location anywhere, anytime. I think that's pretty cool. What's on this next screen here? Uh, emergency preparedness, automatic collision notification, emergency call, and roadside assistance. Then here they're saying you can set up customizable alerts. You can set up a speed alert, a valet alert, a boundary alert, and a curfew alert. And then finally, they're talking about their convenience services as part of this Nissan Connect that's powered by Sirius. It says connected search, uh, a journey planner, and then there's also destination assistance, which is interesting. You can use your voice response to search by name or category and have results sent to your Nissan navigation system. I like stuff like that. Okay, so we went through that whole Nissan Connect thing. Now we're over here on this sound enhancement. And they're saying advanced technology reduces unwanted noise and helps you enjoy the thrilling sound of a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter V6 singing through, all, through, it, through an available handcrafted titanium exhaust. Here's a better shot of that picture if it was bugging you that I was cutting off the picture and you were wondering if I was going to show it or not. The answer to that is yes, I'm going to show that picture in its entirety. Here it is. And it's still here. Here are some of the features of the sound enhancement, right? There's an acoustic windshield to help reduce outside noise. The GTR employs a special acoustic windshield that features sound absorbing technology between glass layers. And then for the instrument panel to reduce unwanted sounds from the engine bay, the GTR adds an insulator underneath the dashboard and sound absorbing material behind the instrument panel. And then over here, well wheel, wheel wells and trunk, it says, Road and tire noise are reduced with insulated material above the rear wheel wells and as well as noise damping material on the floor of the trunk. There's a nice shot of those Bose speakers sitting right in the center. I bet you this system sounds good. I think this car is a daily driver, a grocery getter, pick up the kids. Yeah, you got to stuff them in the back. They'll be all right. They're flexible. You know, I could definitely I could definitely get down with this car. Daily, 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 anywhere. It's got four-wheel drive. It's awesome. So here they're talking about that Bose system, of course. They showed us the Bose. It says designed exclusively for the GTR, the available 11-speaker Bose audio systems, dual subwoofers, sit between the rear seats, employing the trunk as a giant base enclosure. Smart. And then there's active noise cancellation, which uses microphones in the cabin to actively monitor the sound and help remove undesirable noise. And then, of course, lastly, there's active sound enhancement, which takes advantage of the reduced noise and enhances the existing engine sound coming into the cabin. So are they piping in artificial engine noise or, or is it the real engine sounds? They're not real clear on that. 
Check it out. They're going to tell us about the titanium exhaust. There may be times when you'd like to attract less attention to the GTR's potent exhaust note. The control in the cabin closes a valve inside the available titanium exhaust that significantly <laughs> reduces outside exhaust volume, ideal in crowded or urban settings. If you're not trying to be seen or you don't want to be obnoxious, you could use this button. All right, so last but not least, you can't have speed and performance and all that stuff without having safety. So lastly on this features page, Nissan's going to tell us about their Nissan Safety Shield and their philosophy. It says Nissan Intelligent Mobility encompasses the Nissan Safety Shield philosophy, a comprehensive approach to safety that guides the engineering and development of every vehicle they make. They help protect you and your passengers by focusing on three areas, keeping an eye on your vehicle systems, assisting in handling unexpected situations, and helping to keep you safe in the unfortunate event of an accident. Here's a pretty shot of a GTR that was just below that information. I wanted to take the time to show you that because it looks hot. Okay, well, you can see all these little buttons down here. So this is all the information we need to go through for safety. So after we get through this stuff, then I think we're going to move on to performance. We're going to learn a little bit more about the GTR performance. And then we'll learn a little bit more about the Nismo specifically. And then we'll build in price the, our pure model. All right. So what does it say? Zone body construction. This advanced body construction combines impact absorbing structures with a high strength cabin, which helps provide protection for you and your passengers. The GTR also has six airbags. It has a tire pressure monitoring system that will notify you when tires aren't properly inflated. There's a vehicle dynamic control. It says advanced vehicle dynamic control system not only helps you maintain your steered path in R mode, it actually sends more power to the appropriate wheels when it senses oversteer or understeer, helping you drive with superior power and control. That's that whole making you look like a hero part, right? Remember when I said that way back in the beginning? There it is. That's the whole making you look like a hero right there. Then, of course, of course, of course, there's a traction control system. There's anti-lock braking system. Look, going around some huge boulders, right, <laughs> out in the country. Uh, electronic brake force distribution, which monitors weight distribution and adjusts rear brake force to compensate for added weight from passengers or cargo. It's a smart system, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And then lastly, for safety, yeah, lights are safety. Multi-LED headlights to enhance visibility. The super wide beam expand illumination towards the side of the car. The headlights feature four LED units to create an extremely natural light replicating daylight. So there that is. So those, those are all our features for safety. I'm just going to double check, make sure nothing else is on this page. Otherwise, we're just going to pop up on the performance page next, aren't we? Well, this is certainly an in-depth review of the 2019 Nissan GT-R and all its configurations. Here we are on the performance page, and they've got quite a bit of information they want to tell us about. They want to tell us about the platform, their engine, aerodynamics, transmission, driving dynamics, the craftsmanship of this vehicle, and particularly, I guess, the track edition. So without further ado, let's move on and I guess start with platform. Let's find out about the platform. Okay, here's a shot of the chassis. Look, I can drag that back and we can see the whole chassis. All right, and we can pull it forward and we can see the actual vehicle itself. Check it out. You can see those big intercoolers sitting up front looking all kinds of good. Look at that. Looks nice, doesn't it? All right, let's move on. We can't play with that the whole time. Okay, so here what they, here's what they say right below what we were doing. It says, in another break with convention, Nissan GTR's premium midship platform places the engine further back in the chassis for better handling. Okay, got it. For Whoops, for better handling. Okay, this unique layout also mounts the transmission with the transfer case in the rear of the Nissan GTR. Here's the transfer case right there, right, right where I've got the mouse going. All right, and what else does this do? What else does this do? This creates the world's first independent rear transaxle for, transaxle for an all-wheel drive vehicle. Hmm. That's the first for sure. Next, of course, they're going to tell us about the engine. We know that the base engine makes 565 horse and 467 pound-feet of torque. That, not to minimize it, it's just, well, we know what it does. And here's a big shot of that big, big V6 engine right there. An IHI turbocharger is mounted on each bank of the engine, 
By combining the exhaust manifold and turbocharger into a single unit, the intake and exhaust gas flow is optimized. A larger intercooler is installed for more efficient cooling to ensure there is no turbo lag as torque rises. High precision electronic controls are employed. Here they're going to give us some more tidbits of information about the engine. Closed deck and ladder frame structure. The cylinder block features a closed deck for strength. For added strength, a ladder frame structure was also adopted to give the crankshaft added support. Important with the engine's massive torque. Magnesium alloy was selected for the oil pan and rocker cover for its lightweight and strength. And then, of course, they're going to tell us about that uh, titanium exhaustic system, that it's an available system. We know it does not come with the pure. Um, titanium apparently is notoriously difficult to work with. Each exhaust is hand built by a master craftsman and is specifically designed for an individual vehicle. Wow. So it's expensive. So your replacement exhaust will be expensive. Here they're talking about the aerodynamics of the GTR with a coefficient drag of 0.26. While you see a substantial power, powerful supercar to the wind, it punches through like a low-slung mid-engine supercar, pure aerodynamic alchemy. So while it's a front-engine car, it slips through the wind like a mid-engine supercar. And if it was a mid-engine supercar, the engine would be, oh, back here. Mid-engine means that it's in the back, but it kind of sits you know, right over the front axle or right over the rear just in front of that, right? That's, to my understanding, a mid-engine car. Could be wrong. If I'm in, correct me in the description below, in the comments below, not the description. Next, they want to tell us about aerodynamic downforce. It says, downforce adds grip and enhances the feeling of control. Reinforcements to the hood, along with the design of the front spoiler and the side sill extensions, prevent air from being drawn under the vehicle and help the GTR consistently apply its down force lastly right here they want to tell us about engine cooling improvement was there a problem or did they just make it better i wonder it says cool air is key for performance especially for the engine and to provide a dense intake charge to feed hungry turbochargers increasing the size of the grill by 20 percent enhances airflow by an appreciable two percent and there's the underside of the 2019 nissan gtr and surely that's all control and airflow under there. That's why you can see it like that. And I'm sure they're going to tell us about it right now. Yeah, they are. The average car has exposed working gear underneath where wind whips around, creating lift and slowing you down. The Nissan GTR, of course, isn't an average car. Its underbody is virtually covered by composite panels, giving it a flat aerodynamic surface. At the front of the car, the flat underbody is accelerating the air and channeling it over the brakes, cooling them down. At the back, a carbon fiber diffuser takes that accelerated air, slows it down, and creates a vacuum effect that helps the GTR connect to the road, while a duct in the diffuser helps cool the available titanium exhaust. We saw that duct. Let's check it out again one more time. Did they, they probably didn't mean this duct. I don't know. Did they? Maybe they mean this duct right here. I'm sure wind's coming around through here, but this certainly looks like a duct right there, and I can only assume they mean this duct for cooling the titanium exhaust, I'm assuming. Here they're telling us about that transmission. The longer a shift takes, the less time power is being put to the ground. The GTR sequential dual-clutch transmission can snap off lightning-quick gear changes in just 0.15 seconds when in race mode, almost as quickly as you can blink. That's how fast the transmission is. Over here on the left... They're going to tell us about the dry sump lubrication system of this vehicle to ensure stable lubrication for the transmission, even when cornering at high Gs. A dry sump lubrication system is employed. The system sprays transmission oil directly onto the gears, reducing friction and increasing reliability. And then over here on the right, they're telling us that two clutches, there's two clutches in this car. The GTR's six-speed dual-clutch transmission shifts incredibly quick, but how does it do it? Inside the transmission, there are separate clutches for the odd and even gears. When the car is in an odd number gear, the adjacent even number gear is pre-selected, ready to make the shift immediately. The transmission is so smart, it even blips the throttle to downshift to match the RPM. Again, another thing that makes you look like a hero, <laughs> you know, to make you look like a hero. That's two things right there. Okay, here we are. We're on to driving dynamics. Let's talk braking and handling. It says the Nissan GTR is rigid forged aluminum 20-inch wheels manufactured by Rays, of course, 
Utilize knurling inside the wheels to help keep the tires from slipping around the wheels under heavy acceleration or braking. Pretty cool. The wheels feature a machine finish, which provides a high-quality, high-performance look. I mean, the car was making so much power and gripping so hard, it was spinning the wheels off the tires off the rim, I bet. And they had to probably add that. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. So check it out over here on the left, these big, huge monoblock mono -block brake calipers with floating disc rotors. The brakes feature six piston front and four piston rear calipers for stronger, more equal clamping power. Something you'd expect to see on, all, on an all-out competition machine. For extreme rigidity with light weight, the caliper is machined from a single one-piece monoblock, quote, of aluminum. The Nissan GTR also benefits from a full floating rotor, a racing technology originated by Brembo. By allowing the outer disc to expand away from the hub under extreme heat, it reduces the tendency of the rotor to warp. And then over here on the right, they're talking about that Bilstein suspension. A special Bilstein Damptronic driver adjustable shock absorber system utilizes multiple vehicle information systems to provide appropriate damping forces and a high level of control for a variety of driving situations. Here's something interesting. I was getting ready to scroll down. It says strong to the core. There was a little clickable link. What's it saying? The Nissan GTR's body gets maximum strength from carbon aluminum die-cast steel, a combination of carbon fiber, die-cast aluminum, and steel. For structural rigidity, aluminum die-cast door inner panels are employed to decrease the amount of deformation during a crash. Die-cast aluminum is also used for the front strut housing and in the front suspension. For added structural rigidity, the suspension strut tower bar is made of a lightweight carbon composite containing aluminum honeycomb. This is just an aside. Well, of course, they got to tell us about this advanced all-wheel drive system because when this thing's putting down that kind of power that it's putting down and ripping off 0 to 60 times in 3.2 seconds, well, it's got to be hooking up with the all-wheel drive. So let's find out about the all-wheel drive and keep going with the driving dynamics. Here's a nice full shot of that GTR. This guy's getting down in the snow. What a great way to, to make the intro about their all-wheel drive system, showing their high-performance sports car throwing down out in the snow. So here it is, performance with a bias. Instead of the traditional 50-50 torque split between the front and rear axles, the electronically controlled all-wheel drive system provides up to nearly 100% of available torque to the rear wheels and can send up to 50% of torque to the front wheels. This provides the steering feel and response of a rear-wheel drive vehicle while giving the added confidence that only all-wheel drive can offer. Additionally, VDC continuously monitors your steering and braking actions senses any oversteer or understeer and compensates by reducing engine speed and or applying brake pressure to specific wheels. Here they're going to talk about some customization that's available to us. Nissan's GTR's easy to use three mode system is always ready. Three switches allow for on the fly adjustment of specific performance parameters for the tranny, the suspension and the vehicle dynamic control system. So let's learn about that. Well, let's take a look at this photo first. Get a nice full shot of that. The resolution on these pictures are really, really nice. There's your little push start. The pedals are nice. The dead pedal's nice. The leather looks good. There's your bow center speaker up there on the dash. Everything looks nice. Very well executed. And the fit and finish looks excellent on this car. Okay, so tell us about our mode. Our mode is for maximum performance. It sets the transmission for the quickest shifts and adjusts the suspension, shocks, and vehicle dynamic control for high performance handling. Then, of course, there's normal mode for daily driving. Choose normal mode, which sets the transmission, suspension, and VDC for a smooth, refined ride. And lastly, there's a special mode. Use save mode for long-distance driving and gentler torque delivery on slippery, slippery surfaces. In comfort mode, the damping force of the shock absorbers is variably, variably adjusted for more comfort. Off mode disengages the VDC system, apparently, altogether. All right, they're going to talk craftsmanship real quick. Let's talk craftsmanship of the 2019 Nissan GTR. Okay, starting with the left, one man, one engine. Only five master craftsmen in the world are allowed to hand assemble the GTR's engine and affix a plaque carrying their name. Dang. <laughs> talk about rarefied air. Those guys are breathing rarefied air, literally. Anyway, in the middle here, expert drivers. 
Uh, AS class drivers, the top development drivers at Nissan, help create a vehicle the world would ex that would excel at any racetrack in any kind of weather in the hands of any level of driver. Then over here, they're talking about the Nurburgring. Drivers are assigned to a unique aspect of Nissan GTR's development, including an Autobahn expert, a marketability expert, and ringmeisters who pit the GTR against the legendary Nurburgring. They are always sound, seemingly pushing this car to the extreme. They aren't playing around about this car, are they? I don't think they are. I'll answer that for you. Okay, let's learn about the GTR Track Edition. That's the last thing on this on this speed on this performance page to learn about. So let's put a sharper edge on the blistering quick GTR. The Track Edition combines competition quality gear, unique body bond bonding, a special driver centered and a special driver centered environment, taking GTR performance to the next level. A unique red and black interior featuring grippy and supportive Recaro front seats helps hardwire you to the experience. On the outside, the dry carbon fiber rear spoiler provides downforce and is a work of art in its own right. And, well, there are those features. There's the carbon fiber rear spoiler. On the outside, the dry carbon fiber rear spoiler provides downforce and is a work of art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, here's the Nismo tuned suspension. And then, of course, the Nismo forged alloy wheels. There's six-spoke rays, forged alloy wheels measuring 20 by 10 in the front. They're big. And 20 by 10 and a half in the rear. And so, yeah, the GTR Track Edition features a Nismo tuned suspension for competition, bread response, and control as well. So it's got a special suspension underneath it that's a little bit different than the uh, Premium and the Pure model. All right, real quick before we uh, get on to the build and price of the Pure, let's finish up by learning about specifically the, N the Nismo. It's the top level one, right? It's $175,000. So let's uh, let's see what they got to say about it. I'm curious, and maybe you're curious too. So let's do it. So the first thing they're telling us is fanatically tuned, 600 horsepower, powered by the thrust of high capacity turbos developed from our GT3 racing program. The GTR Nismo's engine is the purest expression of passion, performance, and technology. And there's a nice shot of that bad boy, and we can see right down here by the oil pressure stick, we can see that plaque. We know there's only one of five guys' names who are on that plaque because there's only five dudes in the whole world that are that can that are that are signed off to build this motor. Period. Looks like they're showing a turbo here. What's this? It's a racer's wish list come true, including innovative plasma sprayed bores for reduced friction, lighter weight, enhanced cooling, power output, and fuel efficiency, while optimized individual ignition timing control for each cylinder, an upgraded fuel pump, improved combustion, keeping it all in check. A thermostatically controlled oil cooling system, an oil scavenger pump to maintain oil flowing to the turbochargers, and a lateral wet and dry sump oiling system. It's a serious engine, isn't it? On to handling of the Nissan GTR. It says its suspension setup is tuned for stunning agility, road holding, and, road holding and handling finesse without compromising refinement. The springs and customized Custom developed Bilstein Damptronic dampers in the front and rear suspension are specifically tuned to deliver exceptional grip levels and progressive handling response at the limit. There's a nice shot of uh, that suspension setup looking quite nice underneath there because it's not dirty yet. Again, they're going to tell us about those raised wheels, right, with the knurling inside for the grip and all that, which is cool, but we're not going to spend any more time talking about the raised wheels. Here's a nice shot of the body. And uh, all before it's been sprayed, what does it say? Body bonding. To enhance the GTR's already rigid platform, additional adhesive bonding was added to key spot welds for increased body shell rigidity. Okay, let's talk aerodynamics. We got to talk aerodynamics about this car. That's a beautiful picture, too, isn't it? It's a nice shot. The aerodynamics of the uh, 2019 Nissan GTR Nismo. Aerodynamics that push the limits. The Nissan GTR Nismo Aero Package improves road holding and minimizes drag while giving the car a menacing and muscular appearance. I'll agree. <laughs> I'll check it out here. A little carbon fiber rear spoiler. Look at this. What is this? Uh, the Nissan GTR carbon fiber side sills. And then you've got the carbon fiber rear fascia. Wow. Carbon fiber trunk. Yeah, a lot of carbon fiber on this, but this thing's hot. 
This is a hot car for 175,000. Yeah. I fall in love with a lot of cars because I love cars, but this is also one of them that certainly would need to be in my garage. I certainly would need this car. They're even going to tell us that the Nismo has an ergonomic interior. The cockpit is relentlessly focused. Recaro seats and Alcantara wrapped steering wheel and signature Nismo red accents throughout anticipating an experience like no other. Here's a nice shot of that ergonomic interior. Here's the Recaro front seats. Here's the Alcantara covered steering wheel. Here's your combi meter, your Nismo combi meter, which looks good, right? And it's got that gear motif. Remember, look around this outer perimeter. It looks like a gear. It's got that gear motif they were telling us about. And then here's the shifter. Looks all chunky and cool. Yeah, and then back to those front seats. All right. Lastly, they just want to tell us that this car, this Nismo GTR, GTR Nismo, has a heritage, man. We know that. This car has a heritage. Let's learn about it real quick. And then we'll get on with our building price. Check it out over here on the left. Since 1984, Nismo has been the official in-house racing arm of Nissan. Started by a group of maverick Nissan engineers over 30 years ago, Nismo is synonymous with passion, expertise, and the heights of Nissan performance, not to mention decades of racing dominance. Every time you see a Nismo badge, you'll know it's something extraordinary. Engineered with brilliance, designed with an undeniable edge, and fueled by passion without a red line. And then over here on the right, it co these cars are tripping me out because I've spent years and years playing Gran Turismo, and I've driven these cars many, many times on many, many tracks on Gran Turismo. Anyway, over here on the right, the history of winning. In 1936, a 747cc Datsun Midget took the checkered flag, and we haven't stopped racing and winning since. From Japan to Le Mans, Dakar to Dakota, I'm sorry, to Daytona, our dedication to innovation has made Nissan Motorsports a dominant force. Whether it's a humble sedan like the Skyline developed into the legendary Nissan GTR or machines that will shape the future, including the Nissan Delta Wing with an all-electric Leaf Racer, we race what we build and we win what we race. That's cool. I like this car and I like Nissan. I like the heritage there. Okay, here we are. We made it. We're on the build and price part. We're going to do the pure. The pure starts at $99,990. And if you watch my channel, you know that I hardly ever, I never talk about the base model. I don't think I've really ever built many base models. I can't remember one, to be honest with you. This is the rare instance that I think the base model is more than enough. So let's build this version. All right, let's pick some colors. We're going to kind of keep that all simple. Uh, I actually like that pearl white tricoat. If you remember, I told you that I was kind of, I kind of a sucker for these colors. I like the tricoats. I like that a lot, and it's easy to keep clean. So we're going to do the pearl white tri-coat. It's a $1,000 upgrade. We don't really get into the prices, but you can see the pricing right here. Now we're up to $102,685. let us go on to interior color, and yeah, looks like we only have one option with the interior color. So that keeps it real simple, doesn't it? And that option would be the black leather with synthetic suede inserts. I wish I could get all leather, but I'm not going to cry about it. Let's move on. Next are packages. So we can get, what, a few packages? There's only one package to get, and that's the all-weather package, which gives – so if you're going to drive this thing not in the summertime, it's going to give you a special 50-50 coolant mix, and it's going to give you all-season tires. Realistically, that's the way to go with this car because it's not going to be a track-only car that sits around in, like, a hot climate all its life. So, yeah, give me the all-weather package. It's a no-cost option, which is fine. Let's move on to accessories. See if there's anything over there that's worth grabbing. Okay, the accessories list looks kind of long. There are wheel locks. No. Yeah, we'll grab the wheel locks. And then there's this GTR carpet mat and first aid kit. I don't think we need a first aid kit. There's the premium sport, sport floor mats with carbon fiber inserts. I don't think that's going to even feel comfortable. It seems like that would be slippery. I don't think we need the valve stem caps. I'd rather have these regular GTR carpeted mats. Those look better to me. I'll take those over those carbon fibers. We can skip over the license plate frame. I don't need a chrome jack with the GTR logo. The standard toolkit. I think I would get the toolkit just because it's cool. For nostalgia, it's collectability. Yeah, you got to have the toolkit. That's just cool. Right? Um, the emergency road kit. Nah. 
The airbag bolt, I think we could skip, as well as the seat belt extender, I think we could skip that as well. Let's move on to the summary. All right, here we are at the summary. We made it. This car started life at $99,999, I believe, and there was not many things really to add to it besides a few, you know, little accessories that, you know, we could easily live without. But now our price is $103,792. It's a reasonable price, I think, for all the car that we get. I was able to save the build summary. So if you like the spec of this 2019 Nissan GTR Pure, you can download the build summary in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We've made it to the end. And if you've made it to the end with me, then you're really, really awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to keep turning out more videos. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this up. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the 